on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Again, Ari, Ari, come on, wake up. Ten long minutes. So tired. For what? Hmm. <clears throat> Look, we got school. Come on, we gotta go. No. Why you gotta be so difficult in the morning and why do you just keep Oh well I guess I'll just leave you here alone, who knows? I'll make all sorts of new friends without you. <laughs> that means girls. Wait <coughs> wait, 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 I I'm a, I'm awake. Wow, that was easier than usual. Anyway, come on, get dressed. Fine. <laughs> what? <clears throat> what? What's wrong? As she forgot that... Yeah, after training, she wasn't really feeling the bad thing. Her uh, night clothes were a little bit too constricting. So, yeah, right now she's... She's wearing nothing but her bra and panties. Izuku getting a knifeful, her getting pretty much wanting to be the shit out of him, but it was her fault. And that was a quiet breakfast. Soon as they arrive in UA, yeah, everyone instantly recognizes both of them, asking a whole shit ton of questions like Wait, why are you guys always seen together? What's going on with that? Are you two dating? Them denying that right off the bat. As well as regretting saying such things. But upon saying that, Eri gets bombarded by a bunch of dudes. And he's just the same with a bunch of women. So, yeah. Both of them are both just jealous as well as pissed. But mm, can't tell you about what you said so quickly, now can you? Upon arriving at the door, Zuku is like, "Do we have a giant in our class? That would be awesome." And just like, "Okay, yeah, th th this this could be fun for me." What's with you wanting to fight? Well, it's not really. I don't really want to fight. It's just. I just think giants are cool. Of course. Of course you do. Upon opening the door, everyone recognizes them again. Bakugo especially. So it's him. Again. Because now he does remember... At least know who Izuku is. <sighs> uh, hey. Hi. Look, about. Um. You know. Oh, yeah, you're talking a bunch of shit. I forgive you. Somewhat. Mm hmm. Right. So, what's uh, what's going on? Nothing really. Hmm. Right. Either way, um, see you 
Uh, um, dude, you're making this very much more awkward than it needs to be. I know. It, it's weird for me too, man. It's just... We thought you were dead. <laughs> Heck, I probably should have should be dead. But, <clears throat> luckily, it's almost like I got something protecting me, you know? Yeah. Almost like plot armor in an anime. Well, the odds that your quirk actually activates to save your ass. Yeah, that was weird for me too. But, luckily, I'm here and I'm doing great. Hmm, yes. So, uh, would you. So, how's Auntie Eco doing? Oh, she's a lot better. She has gotten more of an attitude. Possibly because of your mom. You cannot blame that on my mom. Can't I? No! Well, I'm doing it anyway. Them going back and forth while well, Ida, he's pretty much trying to praise Izuku for all his awesomenessity. Dude, just, there's no need for that. Whatsoever, I just was doing my thing. That's pretty much it. You say that, but I sense greatness in you. So do I. Hmm. And uh, I see modesty is uh, not uh, something you worry about. Oh no, I can be plenty modest. I just choose whether to be it or not. Hmm. As then Eri she hears some slight whispers amongst the girls and as yes, Izuku is a topic of discussion. So, uh, excuse me. Hmm? What? So how do you know Izuku? What do you mean? Uh, it's just... People have been seeing you guys around together a lot. Could, could it be that you guys are... Um, a thing? No, 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 no. He's just my friend. He's, he's a good friend. A childhood friend. And, uh... Yeah, we... We just spend a lot of time together because that's what we what we usually do. So there's no real, there's nothing between us whatsoever. Really? Yeah. So you don't mind if one of us actually tries to shoot our shot with them? <laughs> no, of course not. As a similar conversation is going on with Izuku, the only difference is when someone else asks if they can possibly date her, he shoots them down instantly, saying how he's pretty much been her protector ever since she and he was kids. Him pretty much relaying of how his childhood was and how lucky he is to be alive. And, yeah, that's a lot to unload a person. So they understand. Eri is off limits. Eri did not express the same thing. She just panicked while oh, Izuku was more calm. So, yeah. Eri has to deal with a bunch of other girls actually trying to spit game at Izuku. Him leaving, especially after the quirk apprehension test, going straight towards hmm, the support group? 
at this court. Uh, the chorus room? What? What's, what's, what's going on there? Very suspicious. Follows him. Her being shocked as hell seeing him in a certain enthusiastic pink haired girl being a little too friendly. Her pretty much wondering what the fuck? Do they know each other? How did. Upon remembering what Inko said. <laughs> So, she's the one he was meeting up with, was she? And as per the laws of anime, a misunderstanding occurs when Mei slips and hops on top of Izuku. Him freaking out, his wings sprout and wrap around her by accident. Eri, seeing this, both blaming Izuku for doing such a scandalous looking act, but blaming Mei more, thinking that, yeah, she did that on purpose. I, I've killed my father. I've killed before. I'll do it again if I have to. Her giving some strange Yundere vibes emanating from herself. Like, I've been spending too much time with Toga. <sighs> and again, I wonder if she'll be fine with offering this little uh, home wrecker. Wait, why am I... Man, Ms. Inko was right. I should... I should tell him how I feel, but what if he rejects me? I know she says she, that he likes me, but now I'm still so worried. <laughs> Upon Izuku opening up his wings, yeah. <laughs> May, she gets a better look at him, and Eri knows exactly that look that May is showing off. She's like, Oh my god, that's a look of admiration. The look that causes some one to fall in love. I, I need to stop this. Her pulling the fire alarm. And they get doused with God knows how much water. Her thinking this works, she pats herself on the back. But she realizes she screwed up as... Izuku's clothes are clinging to his body, as do they with Mei. And she knows both of them are checking the, each other out. Izuku's blushing, Mei being more or less indifferent. Still embarrassed, but he's like, uh, oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to dry this off. And considering Mei will go countless hours, even days without sleep, being more than able to uh, work on her inventions, she has she doesn't have as much modesty as some of the as some other girls may have. So yeah, she just takes off her top, just hoping that her her bra isn't. It's like, oh wait, I'm not wearing one. Her looking as Izuku passes out through a bloody nose, Harry. Burst through the doors, picking up and walking away. May just there's like, how long has she been there? Upon slapping Izuku awake in the infirmary, recovery girl having to tell her to back off. It's like, I feel like I almost died. On the other hand, it didn't feel like I was going to die a terrible death. What? So, wait, what happened? Nothing. Are you sure? It felt like something terrible. Or was it terrible? Yes. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Something bad was going to happen. I had to get you out of there, uh... 
fumes were gonna um, cause you to lose your mind or something. Wait, wait Cassie, I, I need to go then. Her just no, it's not Cassie, but I need to help May. Oh, it has a name. What? Uh, wait, what? You, you call her May? Well, yeah, that is her name. So how how long have you known her? Huh? Don't play dumb with me. How, how long have you known this May person? Uh, um, today. I, I was just, uh, checking on my, uh, hero suit and, you know... Uh-huh. So, that's why you decided to visit the support course. Yeah. She has a lot of potential. Yeah, I bet she does. You cheating asshole. What? what? Nothing. So, uh, how good is this May Hatsume? Oh, she's one. She's a uh, very intelligent, as well as committed, and kind of kind. Some somewhat a. Uh, Oblivious to reading the room. I mean, the thing I rem remember her doing. <coughs> Boobs. What? <coughs> I mean, oh. I remember now. I passed out. Dude, I think it was. I saw something I probably shouldn't have. Really? Wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. How, how would you know to... I w Were you following me? No. No, of course not. No, wait, how would you know I was... Wait, why'd you call me an it? What, why? What's with that? Hmm? What are you talking about? You called me an it. Well... I didn't know her name, so now I do, so I'll try not to call her that again. No, 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 So, So something, something seems a little suspicious here. Uh, well, don't worry about it. There's nothing to be worried about. Are you sure? Because when someone says not to worry, that means you should be worried. It is the law. What? Of life. You, usually when a scientist says everything's under control, nothing to worry about, that means something is definitely going to go wrong. You watch too many movies. You watch those same movies. Hmm. Touche. But, nonetheless, I was looking for you and saw you passed out. Oh. Seriously? Wow. And, uh, thanks. <sighs> but I'm gonna need to check on May. Why? Well, um, she, uh, for some reason, the fire alarm went off and we ended up getting soaking wet. As he knows his. Wait, where? Where's my shirt? Where's my. Why? Why? Am I in my underwear? Him seeing, like, wait, you're bleeding. What? Yeah, your nose. No, this is fine. Uh, her, him trying to ignore the tissues that's been like, rolled up, seeing the hints of blood. It's like, oh, I'm so. I am very, very sorry. That must have been very uncomfortable for you. No. No, it wasn't. Are you sure? Yes. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go help May. As he just turns into his full dragon form and just heads back to the support course. Her. Like, Please don't leave. Upon getting back, he sees May. Trying to dry her clothes, but she's not decent at all. 
What I mean by that? Yeah, Yugu has to pretty much look away as he offers his assistance. What the fuck are you? It's me, Izuku. Oh yeah, right. Sometimes I forget that you're a dragon. Well, you can you have a dragon quirk. Either way, help me with what? 